Hello, this is my book report on Sexual Intelligence by Marty Klein. Uh, the book was published February 5th, 2013. Uh, Dr. Marty Klein is a license, uh, licensed marriage and family therapist and certified sex therapist for at least 31 years. He's authored over a hundred articles in many different publications like Parents and New Woman and even things like Playboy. He has given over 700 different keynote speeches and he is frequently quoted as an expert in publications like Newsweek and the New York Times. Sex isn't just an activity, it's an idea. Uh, these ideas make sex complicated. When we are young, sex is driven by hormones, lust, and the novelty of the situation. But when we're older, we have the idea that sex is driven by love. We idealize our partner, and typically we become horny for him or her. After this, routine sets in, and we have to create our own novelty. Otherwise, we might lose what you might call the spice. Um, once routine sets in, love no longer triggers des the desire reli reliably because the rest of our lives interfere. So initiating sex becomes a complex thing. Um, the hassle of initiating sex um, starts to outweigh the perceived advantages of having it. So sometimes people just don't want it because it's too costly for them. Couples who like each other and find other ways to enjoy each other's company go on things like walks or they cook together or more or have having things like naps together and when they when they do this sex becomes more infrequent. So what about the sex uh, you are going to have when you are at, when you actually have it? The idea of sex starts when you have the body of a young person, but by the time we are 30, virtually no one has a body like that anymore. You no longer have the body you had when you were learning about sex, and the body you have now uh, behaves entirely different from that. If you use your young adult version uh, of sex when you're much older, you're likely to come into different, many different problems. Um, this can be extremely uncomfortable, but you have to come to terms with, with age, and it's very necessary. Dr. Klein insists that as adults, we have to grow up and relearn how to experience our sexuality. Uh, we need to change our vision of what sex is and be willing to push yourself uh, just to participate in general. Um, have a sense of humor. Don't take everything so negatively. Be willing to have some humility and maybe embarrass yourself with somebody you're supposed to trust. Um, for Klein, sexual intelligence, as the title is, is information plus emotional skills plus body awareness. And with this will allow us to use uh, sexuality to express our dis ourselves authentically and what allows us to get from adolescent sex to adult sex. Most people want some sort of combination of pleasure and closeness from sex. However, that's not what most people focus on during sex. They focus on things like how they look, um, preventing undesirable activity, climaxing at just the right time, or maybe even suppressing emotions. In fact, focusing on how your penis or vulva is working at that moment is actually an extremely big distraction. Helping people identify what they're actually thinking about during sex is, is powerful, has a powerful impact on their lives. Many people watch themselves during sex more than they are actually experiencing the sex while it's happening. Dr. Klein says other things we want from sex include 
reassurance that we are desirably desirable and sexually competent, validation of our masculine masculinity or femininity, sense of being normal, relief from performance anxiety was a big one. Uh, we put a lot of pressure on sex to address non-sexual needs. Sex can be more trouble than it's worth if you are struggling with emotional needs and trying to find them through performance-oriented sex. You won't be able to focus on pressure or closeness. Uh, you, aren't, you aren't getting what you truly want during this interaction. This can make you feel alone during sex. A solution to this is to tell your partner you want more than amazing orgasms. Make it clear you are not asking for a good emotional... You are not asking for a good emotional experience, but you are looking for collaboration and realize you also need to make an effort in this collaboration as well. Uh, on performance anxiety, many people believe that sex is about success or failure. Our need to perform generally leads to anxiety, and this leads to creating and maintaining sexual difficulties. People crave relief from this pressure while lamenting the relief is impossible. Seeking relief from this pressure by performing better is counterproductive. It causes the issue of blame. Rather than focusing on performing, Dr. Klein says that people should focus on what you really want from sex. Don't be embarrassed to use words. This won't accurately give you what you want, what do you, but it can tell you what you're feeling. Don't be embarrassed to use words. Oh. According to Dr. Klein, most people feel unselfconscious, youthful, or want to feel unselfconscious, youthful, graceful, attractive, and special. These feelings can be challenging because they resemble our vision of sex as young adults. In general, I found the book to be informative, but I didn't think that the book did really much other than look outside what is intuitive. So, I wouldn't necessarily recommend this book for a lot of people, but I think it would be generally helpful to people who don't have a very good understanding of sex in general, and it it would it could generally help foster uh, a resistance to performance anxiety and things like that. Um, thank you.